Hey guys, it's uh, Cigar Box Silver here, and uh, it's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, that's because not much has happened here. Um, didn't get any new stuff or coins, just uh, just some Morgan dollars and two piece dollars. That's all I got. Um, but today I'm making a video about toning of silver, and uh, I'm going to do a little experiment. So this is a, a an American Silver Eagle that I bought, and it has been in uh, a blister package, and that's why it got this toning because the package was open around the side. So this is a 1987 uh, Eagle, and it toned right around the edges. Now I don't want to screw this coin up, but um, I was thinking, hey, I want I want some more toning on it. So I thought before testing it on this coin, I will test some toning process on another coin, uh, which will be different, of course, because the Eagle is a, a 3 nines fine silver, and this Kennedy half, 1964, is a 90% silver, so maybe it works totally different. And I've been reading something about toning with sulfur, and sulfur is one of the ingredients of match sticks. Now, I'm not sure if this will work, but I have been uh, scraping off the, the sulfur from the matchsticks. This is the uh, sulfur from one complete box of matchsticks, not that much. But um, I just want to try it and I will be putting it on a plate. Uh, let me show it to you guys. So I'll try it on the Kennedy half first, leave it there for a couple of weeks. So I've, I have this plate and this um, transparent box so I can look what's happening. I'll put the coin in between in the center of it and put the sulfur all around it not touching it so um, just see what happens. Maybe it doesn't do anything I'm, I'm not sure if they even use sulfur anymore in in, um, in the modern matches but uh, I'm just going to try it you know just see what happens looks like a pretty fun experiment to do um, just see what it does. So um, if maybe you guys tried it before, you know more about this, and maybe if you guys know it how it, it works or it doesn't, just let me know in the comments. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about doing this uh, at all. Um, like to know you guys, your guys uh, opinions, opinions on this. Um, you know, it's just a test, just an experiment. That's why I'm putting it on this half dollar first before putting it on my nice 1987 Silver Eagle that I bought in the United States in Detroit. At um, I bought that one at American Jewelry and Loan, which is a, a pawn shop that's familiar from TV, from hard, Hardcore Pawn, that's what they call the series here. Uh, so I met Les there, you know, the small guy, long hair, big uh, necklace. I met him there for a picture and uh, for a small chat and that's where I bought this 1987 Silver Eagle toned and well. was pretty expensive to say the least but um, was a nice souvenir for my trip to the United States last year. Um, Alright, so I think I'm good on this. Now I'm putting this on top of it and it fits and if it fits it sits. Uh, it's not airtight closed, but I think if this is if there is any sulfur in this match heads, uh, it will uh, produce some gases in between, you know, and and we'll see what it does. I'm putting this plate in a closet for like I don't know, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, maybe four weeks, whatever happens to it, I'll put it in the closet in the dark uh, because light won't do anything, and it will. I don't want it in sight. I just want it out of sight. Yeah, so I'll put it in a, in a closet or something like that. Maybe I'll put some foil around it. Oh, that'd be a great idea. And I will keep you guys updated on what will happen to this coin. And if it works out pretty good, I will um, use not this one because I want this one to tone over the years, 20 years or so in a natural way. But I will use another American Eagle 2000. 19 Eagle and use it in the same way. I know that there's also um, uh, The option of using hard-boiled eggs, but that won't give me the color toning Not sure if this does but um, 
I know about that one. Didn't try it before, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, so this is my experiment. Um, and we'll see what happens to this 1964 Kennedy. And you know what? I think it's better for me to turn it around because if it tones, I want the other side to tone. So we'll turn it around on the beautiful side of the half dollar. And that's how we are going to do it. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see each other on the next one. Bye-bye.